Ooh, Christmas came early this year. Starting off real quick, I just wanted to say hello and happy holidays to all of my people. Make sure to smash that like. If you're new to the channel, please get subscribed because we always need new subscribers. That's part of it. So starting off with the left hand side, I got these. These two monster boxes, guys. These things are huge. Check them out. I bought not one, but two think stations. These are by Lenovo. Can you see it? Lenovo. Lenovo think stations. All right. I bought two of them. They both got i7s in them. They both got eight gigs of RAM and they both have a one terabyte hard drive. And not to mention, you know what they both come with? GTX 1050s. One has a 1050 Ti and the other one just has a 1050. That's okay. We can live with it. I got both of these suckers on sale. I only paid, I think, 200 bucks a piece for them. And I'm super stoked about that. But that's for a different stay. Uh, that's probably just going to go in the room. We're going to use those for, uh, you know, girlfriend and wife at editing stations. Or, uh, I'm sorry, uh, like if the family wants to use a computer, I don't want them using my computer. So I'll have a computer for the family and a computer for the fiance to use. Now, moving on to the awesome stuff that I bought for the Black Friday is that we are going to fully upgrade the UFO engine. And what I mean by that is that we're gonna go with the Rogue Strix B450F Gaming. The current graphic, the current motherboard that's in my system is a B350, so we are going to take it up a notch and go to a 450. Now, speaking of taking it up a notch, I got one kit of eight by two. So each stick is eight gigs. These are 3200 megahertz speed, and these are the Trident Z series. And I thought, you know what? How about we buy two of those? So that way we can run 32 gigs of DDR4 at 3200 speed. So right now I'm running 16 gigs of 2666 of DDR4. So we're going to take it to 3200. And the reason why we're taking it to a faster speed is because we're going to put a Ryzen 7 in it. Right now I have a Ryzen 5 1600X. We're going to a Ryzen 7 2700X, which is two more cores and double the threads. Right now I'm at eight cores, 12, no, I'm sorry, six cores, 12 threads. Now I'm going to eight cores, 16 threads. And if you're going to up the CPU, then you need to up the motherboard. And if you're going to up the motherboard, then you need to up the RAM and that's exactly what I did. I got this bad boy for a hundred and four dollars guys. The retail price for this sucker $127. Everywhere I looked anywhere from $114 to $130 is where I found this. I got this for Black Friday for $104. Same with these two kits. Each kit when these kit came out brand new back in like 2017 it was $260 for this kit. Now it's $87 a piece for each. For a 16 gig kit of two times eight is 80, it was like 85 bucks, 86 bucks. So for 160 bucks plus change, I got double of them. The Ryzen 7 is usually at $200. I think when this originally came out, it was for like 365. I got it for $159. I am stoked about that. Now, earlier I mentioned that I got one of these for the girlfriend. I also got her something else that she does not know about. This right here is a new Acer laptop, okay? This is the Acer 5 Slim, okay? And it has Windows 10 in it. Let's see if I can open it, open it, and it's the slim version. It has a Ryzen 3 in it. Uh, I think it's a 3200G. Uh, it has Vega 3 graphics in it, and it is the slim version. Let's see if I can pull it out real quick. This thing out, oh, this sucker is nice.
Oh yeah, she is going to die when she gets this thing. See that Ryzen 3 Radeon graphics? It's full HD at 1080p. It only has four gigs of 2666 in it, but that's okay because we bought an extra four gig stick to go in this sucker. It has a 128 gig SSD in it. Uh, thin design, aluminum top cover, narrow bezel, ultra fast Wi-Fi speed. It has an IPS wide view and angle, and it has HDMI and HDMI mini display port. So this sucker is beautiful. I paid, oh hold on, let me start with this. The original retail price of this thing is $310. I paid 259 bucks for it yesterday on Mon or I'm sorry, Friday, Friday, today's Monday. So I mean it was here in two two or three days. So but yes, this is what we got. So this was an ra a radiator that I ordered a while back ago. And this was the one that was originally going to go into here, but then I got tired of waiting on it and I bought that one because it would be here in like two days. Well, I'm glad I did because this thing came all the way from Korea. And on top of it, look, it came with barbs. All right, like this, that's not gonna work for me. This is a barb fitting. When I originally bought this, and I even checked the listing or the ad, and it shows it not like this. It shows, uh oh, that's not good. Get that styrofoam out of there. It shows that this is a fitting, uh, not a barb fitting, that, but I can screw a thread that I can thread something in it. But that's not the radiator that I got. I waited three weeks for nothing to get the wrong damn thing in. Well, I guess I, I'm just gonna keep it. It was only $14 for it. I'm gonna put it in inventory and call it a day. Be very nice. I mean, this is beautiful. I am so happy about this. Oh, this thing looks awesome. I can't wait to tear my machine apart and put all these new parts in it. This is just stellar. And this new Trident Z Ram, this stuff is gonna be off the chisain. Oh yeah, so make sure to drop a like, guys, and subscribe to stay tuned for all the upcoming tech stuff because we're gonna do a review on the laptop and we're gonna do a build on this stuff and we're probably gonna do a review on some of the individualness and we'll probably do a review on these computers. So stay tuned for all the gaming hardware and as always, you guys be cool and I'll see y'all next time. Peace, like, comment, subscribe and I'm out.